Hi, my name is Hannah. I'm 18 years old and you should not expect any answers from me. I'm sorry, I know we're all looking for answers, especially after the attacks in Paris. I'm more of a questions person. And maybe uh, we might get better answers if we start looking for the right, right questions. For example, don't ask uh, how many bombs do we need to fight IS. Ask, do we need bombs to fight IS? I'm gonna need some help here. Uh, would you please come up to the stage? Yes, both of you. Uh, no, not you. Uh, yes, can you come please? Uh, and you also. Yes. So, let's take a good look at them. Hmm. Now the question of course is, who are they? You are the audience, they used to be the audience. What makes them different so that they ended up here? Who are we? What do we have in common? Are we all wearing black shoes? No, he's wearing red ones. Are we all dark haired? No, we're blonde. Uh, where are you from? I'm from uh, Holland. No, oh, city. Ah, from <laughs> Eindhoven. Are we all from Eindhoven? No. What we have in common is that for the last couple seconds, the audience was wondering what made them different from us. They felt like a we, and to them, we were they. But actually, we're all we, people participating in TEDx. You can sit back down, thank you. <laughs> so. <laughs> when people in Europe or the US talk about our values and attacks on our lifestyle, who is this our? What we find important are good schools, freedom, debate, and we like to go, go out to eat sometimes. We in Holland have that in common with the Germans, the French. We also have that in common with the people in Lebanon. Are they we? I heard that in Iran, people also like to go to cafes and have discussions. Are they we? Are we not all we people uh, living on this earth? Are we not a big collective we? Feels a little weird, maybe. But if they are not we, why are education, freedom, uh, debate, why are those our values? People tend to judge others by the principles of their own culture, the values of their own culture. But it's important to remember that actually the basic values are pretty similar. Of course, I'm only 18 years old, I haven't even gone to university yet, so what do I know? These may be dumb, naive questions, but I want to ask them anyway. So I asked my dad on WhatsApp, and now I'm asking you. I would also like to talk about assumptions. I am personally a big fan of democracy, and I was very excited when I got to vote for the first time this year. But I was thinking that maybe we should stop assuming that democracy is the political system for every country. Introducing uh, democracy in a country like Afghanistan seems like a really good plan. It seems noble and good-willed, and I was completely behind it at first. Um, but then it didn't really work out, and I asked myself, why would that be? It was a good plan. We sent them voting lists and good intentions. What they see is soldiers that are non-believers and drones. Or wait, they don't actually see the drones or they're too late. So maybe we in the West should stop trying to impose our ways of life on everyone else in the world. Now, I don't completely agree with the thing I'm going to say next, but it's definitely good food for thought. We say democracy is the best political system um, because it's fair, it gives everyone a say. But actually, that's just our opinion. Uh, Putin, for example, doesn't really seem to agree, and many Russians with him. What gives us the right in the West to decide for the rest of the world what is good and what is bad? 
And, you know, even if democracy truly is the best system, the way we are trying to impose it is not working very well, just like the way we are trying to stop terrorism. The logic in politics lately seems to be this. Oh, these people there in those countries seem to hate us so much that they come over here with bombs and kill us and themselves. What should we do to solve this problem? Oh, I know. Let's increase bombings on their countries and kill innocent people, because that will not could be cause for more people to hate us, right? Does anyone see a problem here? Look, I know this is an immensely complicated issue, and I'm not trying to fi pretend to that I have a solution. But don't we, as a society, want to be better than those terrorists we despise so much? And, you know, even if the moral morals weren't a problem, we will not win by bombing them, because they don't care about time. Terrorists will dedicate their entire lives to the jihad, and so will their successors. And by bombing them, we provide them with successors because we create hate, hate for us, the West. And this will just go on forever and our world will never know peace. So I say, let's stop fighting fire with fire. Don't use the methods they use. Use those values we keep talking about. Build schools, make sure people educate themselves. Help make the bad living conditions in countries like Afghanistan better because those troubled areas are breeding ground for terrorists. Let's stop giving people reasons to hate us. Stop acting like the West is the boss of the world. Maybe that way we might have a chance at making this planet a place worth living in, a place to be proud of. So. Let's stop thinking about what differs us from them and let's start thinking about what we have in common because we're all we, you know. Thank you. <laughs>